Welcome back to Pets Faces. We're in Chattanooga, Tennessee, home to the McCamey Animal Center. It's not just cats and dogs that enter the center. McCamey houses all kinds of animals, from goats to horses to bunnies. Karen is talking to Pam, one of McCamey's volunteers, and Paula, the director of operations, when she is interrupted by Anna Baker. Can I talk to you about the rabbits really quick? Sure. We really need to move them again. Really? Yeah. All right, let's go take a look. In. Do you guys mind checking on that? All right, stand up. Moving these rabbits from room to room is a common occurrence. The right space for them just isn't there. We have a lot of bunnies in the center at the moment that are waiting for adoption, and we've had to use our education room for that. And Anna's concerned because she's got a class coming in this afternoon, and we've got bunnies everywhere. See, the bunnies are just taking over the room in here. Wow, we do have a lot right now, don't we? Yeah, and I need to move them out of the way because I have a volunteer class coming in, and I just hate to keep moving them back and forth. Yeah, and it's stressful for them too, and it's getting cold, so we really don't need them to be in here anyway. Um, I'll get some volunteers together, let's move them back to the other end of the building, and I'll work on a solution. Okay, I'll get some volunteers. Thanks, Anna. The other end of the building means the filing room. This is where the bunnies will have to spend their time for now. Anna's come to me and asked me to look for a solution, so I am going to go and see what I can figure out so that we can find a better way to house our bunnies. Finding ways to save money so it can be used to help animals is high on McCamey's agenda. Jamie Petty is the adoption supervisor here and works with a database program by Shelter Buddy. So Shelter Buddy is uh, our database program. Uh, basically, every department here uses it. Um, it holds all of our animal information as far as we are able to do adoptions off of it. Um, our dispatch uses it to make jobs for the officers. That way the officers can go out um, and you know help the community. Our whole shelter is ran off of Shelter Buddy. Today, McCamey has received the newest Shelter Buddy edition, a signature pad and basically what it is going to help is help us go paperless. We spend um, several thousand dollars a year in paper and ink um, to do adoption contracts, to print off kennel cards. Um, every animal that comes in the center has a file and it has several papers in that chart alone. Jamie calls a staff meeting to announce the latest edition. So this is our newest addition here. It is the signature pad, and basically it's gonna help us go paperless. Also, with the money that we're saving going paperless, um, it's gonna help with, we can do more enrichment for the animals here. Uh, we can also add additions onto the building, hopefully make a larger educational room, a larger behavioral assessment room. Um, we also spend several hundred dollars a year in storage. Um, just to hold all the paper that we contain here. But the signature pad is not only going to help with saving money. It's going to be better for the environment because we're not using as much paper. Um, and it also helps as far as locating charts. Uh, we have a problem here, you know, animals get moved every day. So, you know, when they're moved, we also need to move their chart to their new location. But sometimes that doesn't happen um, and they can get misplaced. And then everything that we know about that animal is in that chart. For more information on Shelter Buddy, visit their website at shelterbuddy.com.